good, what's good, YouTube? It's Rody. I'm just making this video a little bit out of the ordinary, just to say that yo, we are good people, still in the world. Shit, fuck that. There's still good officers, police officers, still in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like. We all get caught up on the news and the hype and everything about police officers and white people and doing all the wrong things. But there's still some good people out there. Like, this past weekend, I think it was like Friday or whatever like that. Um, yeah, it was like Friday night, midnight or whatever like that. I'm going, I'm heading to Houston. You know, so I live in the Syntax, Austin area, Temple area, whatever like that. And I'm outside Temple and, you know what I'm saying, I'm, uh, I drive a Monte Carlo. Driving Monte Carlo, this right here, and it's just insanely low to the ground or whatever like that, and I get stuck. Like I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to make a U-turn like off of one of those houses, like off the side of the highway, off the back roads. And I get stuck, and you know what I'm saying? It's 11 o'clock at night. I'm trying to uh, see it there in the background. I'm trying to basically get to the 72 tins released, and I'm trying to get to to Houston or whatever like that, so I can camp out a line, make sure I get me a pair. Um, so I do a little turn around, I get my car stuck or whatever like that, and I'm on the side of the road, and I'm flagging cars down. I'm like, yo, help, help, you know, the whole nine, and everybody's passing me on. I'm looking more specifically for a truck, because, you know what I'm saying, something to pull my car out. Like, another car, I really, really can't pull a car out, so... I, I finally get this guy in the Jeep. He pulls over or whatever like that. And he, he, he he's like, yo, can you, can, I was like, yo, can you try? You know what I'm saying, can you try to get me on? He's like, I can try. So he gets into the dirt or whatever like that. He gets stuck, a Jeep, like one of those big little Laredos or whatever like that with the fat wheels and it's hyped up and everything like that. Looks like he goes mudding or whatever like that. He gets stuck. He's perplexed, he kicked it in four by four, he's perplexed. I'm looking like, yo, you got a Jeep, what's happening? So lo and behold, a couple of minutes later, you know, I'm calling my insurance and then put in the truth and the police officer comes. It's a black guy, thank God. I'm like, yo, he comes and he, you know, he looks at the scene or whatever like that. He's just sitting in his truck. And uh, you know, I go up to him, let him know, like, yo, I'm the one to call the police, cause you know what I'm saying? Out there in the middle of Texas, I don't want him to think like, you know, there's this white guy helping me and you know, so I got my fucking camo pants on and this beanie. I don't want him thinking, you know what I'm saying? I'm the one who called for help. I don't want him to fucking arrest me for whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got a little refund in the car too. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully this doesn't turn out for the worse. You know, and I just got stuck. So, you know, he comes out. He's a it or whatever like that. He runs my plates and, you know what I'm saying? I'm a veteran, so I got the vet plates on there. So, you know what I'm saying? He kind of looks at me and, uh, you know... He, he lets that one he lets that one go i think he like rents a car maybe he smoked something you know but he lets it go so you know he pulls out the other guy he's got it you know most troopers you know the troopers they drive those uh what's it the, the tahoes i don't even know if it's a z71 tahoe but he pulls out the jeep you know what I'm saying? he hooks up with some ratchet straps and he pulls the jeep out with, with some fucking ratchet straps with a tahoe and i'm looking like yo you guys is commercials you guys are splashing through fucking creeks and rocks and shit you know what i'm saying you're getting pulled out by a fucking a luxury suv Pretty much, because like I said, it's not even the Z71. So, you know what I'm saying? He pulls the Jeep out, and it comes to me. Now, I drive this low, low. I don't have no hitch. I don't have nothing on there. And I'm in there. I'm in the mud good. I'm like half, like the wheels, like the halfway up. It's spinning. It's the, the mud is splashing everywhere. I got the car running. I didn't turn the car up because I'm like, yo, I don't know if it'll uh, turn back on. So, you know what I'm saying? It's still going. My gas is going. I'm still here now. I'm barely going off like two hours now. And, um, uh, he hooks it on to something and he pulls me out. He pulls me out with his Tahoe or whatever like that. I've got mud all over the, everywhere the place. And I'm just like, yo, basically, you know, this, that was the nicest officer. It was a trooper, Trooper Anderson and this white boy Ryan. You know, Ryan, he stayed after he, they pulled his Jeep out. You know, he stayed until I got my car out. And, you know, the trooper or whatever like that, he pulls me out. And, you know, I got dirt on my headlights. He wipes my car down. Like, just like the lights or whatever like that. And, you know what I'm saying? And just like, you know, it gives me like some things to wipe my my shoes off. Cause I had some, I had the anthrite nines on and they're muddy, they were, they were fucked up. Like, thank God I got the, I got this bad ass shoe cleaner kit. I, I could restore them. But you know, once that suede gets wet with the mud on it, they're pretty much, they're never gonna have that soft suede quality. But anyway, so he like, he, the, the trooper, he does all that. And it's like, yo, we all shake hands or whatever like that. You know, we got it done. And I was just like, you know, thanks Trooper Anderson, you know, for whatever like that. And I see in his truck, like, yeah, he's like pro, go army and everything like that. So I don't know if it was just the fact that, 
But it doesn't even matter, you know, what the situation may have been. Like, I've never, I always talk shit, like, even on social media and status, it's like, there, there's never been a cop where I can be like, yo, a cop really helped me out. Like, not even in a sense where, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm called the police to try to get, like, you know what I'm saying, to get them on my side, like, you know what I'm saying, to get them to, to apprehend someone or anything like that, you know what I'm saying, or, you know, you know what I'm saying, like, not, not, not in a sense like that, like, I want to actually genuinely need their help. Like, this police officer was there. And, um, and like help me and there's this random help of this like this white guy because he knows I'm black I'm on the side of this road like in this outskirts town of the country fuck of Texas and you know these guys you know what I'm saying they pulled over and helped me out and I'm not the most you know so I'm not the most feminine I don't depend on my femininity to like you know what I'm saying get me out of get me out of situations like I can't be like oh he saw this cute face or I was flashing, flashing titties or something like that it was genuinely just like you know the, the, the help of you know what I'm saying nice people and um I don't know I just wanted to like just to, to throw that out there and like to share that with everybody. They want the Jeep saying shit. You know what I'm saying? Too. And the two, they still get people out there, they still get police officers out there. You know what I'm saying? Just sharing my little story with you guys. Peace.